welcome to Two Man Metal, I'm Andy Kaz and on today's episode of TTM Boom! Legendary Mech Warriors box set So we finished the Mercenary Factions So we're going to do something else that's funky because why stop when we're having fun So in the box we get a Marauder, my first one of these, love this model. Dire Wolf, first one of these. Archer, it's about my third one of these. And a Timberwolf, which is like my third or fourth one of these. This box should be like my favourite ever box. Just because of the mechs inside like i love the archer love the timber wolf and the dire wolf and marauder are awesome looking as well so in this we have oh single sided pilot cards so they are double sided printed but it looks like the special rules are on the back that's really cool really different hopefully it means they've got some absolutely beastie rules and four alpha strike cards all named characters really heavy on the points but that's because these guys aren't double-sided they again have special rules on the back which is pretty epic Oh, I'm really excited to get into this pack. Starting off with the Archer. You know, it's an Archer model. It's nice to see a bit of a different pose on this one where it looks like it's actually running. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure the other one doesn't look like it's running. The one with the underslung barrels cut off, which is the same as this one. But don't quote me on that. So the Archer has plenty of cards available. We've got some from the Clan Invasion pack, the Alpha Strike box, and Kel Hounds. Morgan Kel in the Arc. 2R Archer for 71 points, which is huge. That is a massive amount of points to sink into one dude. We have size 3, TMM1, movement 8, missile boat, skill 0. That's why you're sinking loads of points into this guy. He is a beast for shooting. Short 2, medium 3, long 3, overheat 1, 7 armor and 6 structure available from Succession Wars. Till the Dark Age. Pretty sure that's because these guys are before Ill Clan. And on the back, we have the special rule Phantom Met. May move and make attacks of any kind at any point in any phase, even overriding enemy using combat intuition or other SPAs, special pilot abilities. May receive MPs as desired for use later in a turn until all MPs are expended, generates a plus four target modifier at short and medium ranges and a plus six at long range. This dude is insane. That's a lot of points, but I think with that zero skill, it's well worth it. You're going to be killing people left, right and center. So the Timberwolf, uh, sorry, Mad Cat. We have Mad Cat cards from the Clan Invasion card pack, Kelhounds, Alpha Strike and the Clan Invasion card pack and the Clan Invasion box. So, Aiden Pride, 81 points, size 3, TMM2, movement 10, jump 8 on a Mad Cat. That's amazing. I have to run this guy. Missile Boat, skill 1. Again, it's insane. Short 4, medium 4, long 4. I've seen better numbers on a Mad Cat before. But with jump, I don't care that it's not like putting out a million dice at short range. Eight armor and four structure. It's pretty beefy. Available from Succession Wars to Clan Invasion. And then on the back, we have Combat Intuition. If this unit side wins initiative, the unit whose pilot has who has this SPA can move and resolve all of its attacks during the movement phase, applying all the damage effects immediately before any targets can act. This ability can only be used once every three turns. Now, combat intuition, if you shoot somebody before they've moved, do they get TMM? Because they don't have a TMM on them from the previous turn. 
because it you know you take the dice off at the end of the turn so do they count as zero tmm if so that's like devastating and then we have human tro if the concealing unit data rules are in play this unit will automatically identify any non-hidden unit within 12 inches revealing the subject's data card as if the human tro's unit has the lprb special rule this ability applies even if the human tro's unit does not have an active probe of any kind but it does not confer the ability to reveal hidden units in addition the human tro may look for a weak spot in the target unit once per game the use of this ability must be declared before rolling to hit if the attack hits, the attacker may roll once on determining the critical hit table in addition to any such rolls required for any other reason. So that's cool. So the way I read that is if you hit, you get an auto crit once per game. But if you roll a double six, which would crit, it says for any other reason. So you could triple crit off this guy. You can use his ability, crit. 1 in 36 chance that it then crits anyway, and then there's the possibility that you hit structure and crit again. So this guy, pretty crazy. I'm not feeling the human TRO on the hidden, because I don't play hidden rules, but other than that, seems pretty awesome. Moving on, we have the Marauder. I'm really glad to get my hands on one of these guys at long last. I really love this model. I love, you know, the cockpit and torso aren't humanoid. It's got the chicken legs. It's got those gun fist arms that I like and a huge cannon on the back. It's just a beautiful model. I love this guy. I can't wait to start fielding him. Has cards in the Clan Invasion pack, but what we are looking for is Grayson Carlisle. So I'm looking forward to running this. 56 points. The Mad 3 R Marauder. Size 3, TMM 1, Movement 8, Sniper, Skill 1, Short 2, Medium 3, Long 3, Overheat 1, 6 Armour and 6 Structure, from Succession Wars till Civil War. Again, it's pretty huge. Like, 56 points isn't... I suppose it's only too short, though. But 56 points isn't that bad with a skill one, I guess. It's got combat intuition, as before. It's got lucky, so for every point spent purchasing this special pilot ability, it may re-roll one failed attack roll or one failed control roll per scenario. The second roll stands even if it fails or is worse than the first. You know, lucky's a really good ability. It's built into this guy. And then he's got Tactical Genius as well. If this unit is the command unit for its side, the controlling player may roll a second time for initiative if the first roll was beaten by their opponent. The initiative re-roll result stands even if it is worse. An initiative re-roll may only be attempted once every two turns. In addition, if battlefield intelligence rules are in play, the unit may be treated as if it has MHQ4 special ability. Don't know what that is, but this guy looks pretty awesome otherwise. And then we have Natasha Kerensky, Direwolf Widowmaker. I love this model. Size 4, TMM1, Movement 6, Juggernaut. Short 7, medium 7, long 6 is a beast. Overheat 3 as well is insane. 10 armour is just nuts. And 5 structure. Available from Succession Wars till Clan Invasion. 107 points. Absolute beast. But that is going to take such a big part of your points. We have Demoralizer. Every unit that comes within 6 inches of this unit using the SPA must roll 2d6. If the roll is 8 or less, the enemy unit becomes intimidated. Intimidated units reduce their TMM and move by half and suffer a plus 1 target number modifier for all rolls made against the demoralizer. No wonder she's 107 points, she's got everything. Lucky 2, as we saw before, and Iron Will. When forced to make a roll against the intimidating or enraging effect of an opponent using the Animal Mimicry, Antagonizer or Demoralizer SPA, the unit whose pilot or crew has the Iron Will SPA applies plus three modifier to the roll result to resist the effects. Furthermore, if the morale rules are in play, a unit controlled by this pilot or crew with this ability adds negative 2 modifier to avoid being routed or recovering its nerve. And the model for this 
you can see where all that extra armor is it's awesome there's a lot of um stuff like the Adar and the nova have this like hunched over body with these forward cockpits and turtle shell backs and arm guns none of them quite do it for me but this guy is bigger and it works it really works for me i love this model like this pack is just crazy i absolutely cannot wait to start running some of these guys because this is just an awesome little box it's a little bit harder to get hold of i think it was a limited run as well so i don't know if it's out of print or something but it does seem like a bit of a nightmare to get hold of but it's well worth it and if I'd have got this pack earlier on, I'd have been absolutely even more blown away because there's just four beautiful mechs in it. And a lot of the time, because the mechs are so different in design from mech to mech, sometimes you get boxes where you have your favourites, but then some not so great ones. This box, I just love everything in it. Absolutely worth every penny. If you enjoyed this episode of Two Man Matter, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with the videos every week. And check the link in the description below for links to our social media and for ways to help support the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next episode.